Okay, this is done for TP5001 room thermostat. It can be uh, three versions, version M powered by main supply 230 volts, version B powered by two alkaline batteries, and RF radio version. Uh, here is our display, and what we see here is uh, our time, our real temperature, if I push arrows here or there, I can set a different temperature. Uh, but please be aware, if you have here number 1, 2, 3 or 4, this means your schedule is active. And if you change temperature simply in this, uh, let's say, display mode, it will not be saved. And your temperature will change, uh, the time schedule is changing. So either you need to switch off schedule if you don't want temperature to be changed uh, during a day or you need to set up uh, your schedule according to your wish. Okay, here we have uh, uh, waves. This means your heating is activated and your boiler should be on or your thermal actuator for underflow heating or for radiator heating should be on. Uh, here we have day of the week. Okay, to enter menu and set up your thermostat properly what you need to do is to activate display now it is not active and now it is active activated display push m for six seconds one two three four five six and we enter menu so here we have setup one uh, programmer setting setup setup one and we can use option one which means no schedule option two means five two so five working days and schedule for two days off and option three setting three is 24 means we have uh, one day uh, schedule which is uh, valid for all week or for all years so means all all days on, on a year will be set the same schedule. Uh, factory setting is two. Okay, I jump to setting, parameter setting number two, uh, this one, and I have option two or option one. Option one is on off load compensation. What it is, please read the description. Uh, option two is on off standard operation. A default setting is zero one and this one is recommended for condensing gas boiler. Option two I would set for uh, thermal actuators for underfloor control. Okay, let's say I have gas boiler so I leave option one and I jump to menu three which means uh, heat control start up. Uh, setting one is normal start control um, setting two delayed start control and option three is optimized start control optimized start control means uh, thermostat will switch on heating um, earlier to prepare your room to need a temperature let's say you set uh, at eight o'clock uh, higher temperature so thermostat in advance will switch on heating maximum two hours before option two is more for energy saving and the uh, thermostat between schedule time changes if uh, temperature is not so different during the daytime may leave the boiler off for optimized operation and for gas saving and option one means uh, normal start control so it will work only on a demand more about these settings please read the description i leave option uh, one as it is factory setting so setting four Parameter setting four is temperature limitation. So I can limit my highest temperature. So nobody can increase more 
default setting 25. Uh, parameter setting 5, lowest temperature. I can regulate it here. Let's leave 5 as it is factory setting. Option 6, parameter option 6 is frost protection temperature. So minimum is 5 degrees. I can have it different, but let's leave 5 degrees as it is, as it was. 7, 7 is uh, our vacation mode temperature. Default setting is 18. I can of course change it, but I leave 18 degrees. Uh, parameter setting 8 is uh, timer display, 24 hours or 12 hours. I like 24 hours, it is default setting, I leave 24. Option 9, parameter setting option 9, service do setup. So this one is only for installers and we skip. And uh, we jumped uh, option 10. Option 10 was uh, uh, RF pairing. Uh, it is only suitable for radio thermostats uh, because this one is uh, battery powered. We don't have option 10. Option 11 is uh, auto daylight uh, saving. So we can have on or off. Default setting is zero one, which means it is on. Okay, so we go to main menu, twice push uh, clock button, and we have again this uh, main display. Uh, pushing once, we can set uh, year, uh, month, day, uh, hours, and minutes using these arrows. And for setting your schedule, uh, according your needed temperatures and uh, time, what you need is to activate screen and push and hold this uh, clock button. Because in menu one working mode, we selected schedule timer five to two days. We have here Monday and Friday, one schedule and for uh, weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we will have another schedule. So from 6.30, we have 20 degrees. If this fits for us, we jump to another time change. 8.30, we have 15 degrees. We can change everything here using this so, okay, I jump to event uh, three and uh, very fast go to event four. Then I get into Saturday and Sunday, all same four events. I can change everything here, time and temperature as I would like to, okay. So let's say I have set my schedule, but uh, I'm not satisfied and let's say my schedule is changing all over the time. I can get rid of this schedule, entering menu, holding six seconds. I simply set one in a parameter setting one. I choose setting one, which means manual mode, click twice and I have no schedule here. So here I have no more events, no one, two, three, these numbers have disappeared and I only can change temperature manually and it will maintain, thermostat will maintain the set temperature only by these arrows. Okay, in case I go somewhere and I leave my summer house for a frost protection, I can push the switching off button and thermostat will get into frost protection. I cannot regulate temperature here because everything is regulated in menu. To switch off frost protection, push once again. To get into uh, holiday mode, once push M button and you will have uh, here holiday mode. Also, you cannot change temperature here. For holiday mode temperature, you need to jump into menu. To switch off, 
holiday mode once again push m button okay thanks for watching if you like please subscribe and see you on our next video goodbye